have never been a top team before. This feels like the year for them. FBX, though, on the blue side this time around, banning the Nidalee, banning the Jacks, and banning LeBlanc. The Leona taken off of the board by AL. First time we've seen Team swap sides this evening. In this so, format. Uh, in this in this format. <laughs> Turns out it's day one of the, the new game <laughs> stage, So it's the first time for a lot of things, but you're right. This is the first time we've seen the swap. And actually Ash gonna come through for oh, also right. the first time of this entire format. Yeah, whoa, um this one. Or at least this bit. Picked up in right. the first rotation. Is it gonna be Bran? Bran? Lilia? What what is it? Go on. Go on, AO. I mean, Get creative. The Proco's been in his bit big Carthus enjoyer as well he is yeah um, he is. but you, you could always leave that until later and go for something else that you want to grab for yourself oh ah. no it's gonna be the zyra from croco okay uh i think he's played one game of this right i definitely seen him play at least yep. once it's probably it the was, lesser was a of big his fat dub. Picks. yeah okay All that's right. uh so, for, for any uh time. <laughs> less less street people out there, that, that means a win. Um, just yeah. translate that one. Cheers for the translation, Joe. I think we would be truly lost without it. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna see we're gonna see another misfortune. Hey. Uh saw it earlier of course, out of leave. A lot of strong potential on the immediate broadband, just to ensure that uh, not only will Ash Braun be denied, but they will not have to deal with Braun blocking uh the ultimate window. FBX of course by the way, they're blocking Corky and Lilia. Nothing too out of the ordinary here at the minute. I don't wonder what AL are going to look to actually pick I, up for their support, though. I will say that I like that. I like the MF angle when you're already going to ban Braum anyway, because Braum Ash is so oppressive. Like, I feel like this, the ban now doubles up in value in terms of getting out. But one thing I will say, uh, Ash will, can just completely ruin MF. If you ult before Ash does, then, you know, you can just lose your bullet time each time, so. We'll have to keep our eyes on how those interactions go during the laning phase. Not let's take it off the board. Callista removed as well to try and get rid of some of that aggression that could come out with an Ash support. Yeah, exactly. You never know what the pairings are going to end up being. Let's see, though. Because I feel like if you're life, you've got quite a few strong options still up and available. Where Khan is what comes to mind, but Poppy Ban also does make me that. That's probably what life wants but again you know a lot of solid options rail alistar all up and available i'm gonna give Allah r5 and of course Allah's a very dangerous r5 uh, play up such a versatile champion for so shallow who's gonna have his work cut out for him i'll be pretty I scared mean, to even blind Cassante, to be honest with you but uh, it's probably his best bet i have to say i mean i wouldn't put past i wouldn't put a twisted fate pick here past Allah at all, but we'll have to see. I will say, MF has come back into the meta and immediately we're just seeing full wombo combo comps. Like, the strangle thorns come out, the magnet stop to keep everyone in, the bullet time over the top of it. You can just picture it beautifully. But life goes through a bit of a classic for himself with the pike. Wow. And Ash Pike is actually Ash's Pike's highest win rate duo in solo queue, believe it or not. You wouldn't expect it, but her slow oh. set up so well for Pike, you kind of have that utility AD carry that can then set up for Pike to finish the kills. It's going to be the Camille for Ala. This is a bit of a vintage pick for him, and it's great into the Cassante. Yeah, scales up really well. It's a, it's a middling lane matchup, I will say that, but once you get that first item for Ala, once you get that Triforce, hell, once you get the Phage, it just becomes so much easier to navigate. Once you get all the movement speed off of the all attacks from the Qs, so very very manageable and again it just opens up a massive side lane for it for al to play and rely on later on and they've already got the tristana so they're going to be working with that i anticipate this is going to be one of those games where they look to try and rotate hope into the mid lane as soon as they possibly can use him for mid lane prior and then consistently try and roam around the map with that in mind once we hit that mid game but still a lot to be played for in the early stages especially from the other side from f Let's see how this one's going to go down. I'm excited for game number two. AL with a much different composition to what they were playing in the previous game. We'll see if they can pilot this one with this Misfortune combo Croco on the Zyra. He's won with it once before. 
And I'm confident that he'll be able to show us good performance here in game number two as well. But the pike out from life. Not something I expected to see today, but something I am very much on board for. Let's see what life can do on the pick. He's played it twice this split already, won both of those games. It's a pick that he absolutely adores, and it's a pick he can take over with. Absolutely. Especially with so many squishy targets, right? With so much CC setup. Ash Arrow, Lily Asleep. Potential for there to be a bit of a pop off game here for life if he's afforded that freedom. Yet to be seen. A good turnout for both teams. Considering, you know, FBX, they may have been world champions a little while ago, but it does feel like the fandom for FBX has waned over the years within the LPL. AL, obviously, you know, there were a few Rogue Warriors uh, OGs, but not the most popular team in the league, unless you're basically me or Lyric. Um, <laughs> Rebranded to AL, haven't had the greatest success since the rebrand until this year, and it feels like they are finally showing up as an organization, and it sounds like the fans are finally getting on board with that plan as well. Absolutely, they are. A lot to be excited about. If you're yeah. an AL fan. Tabe has certainly come in coaching staff wise alongside Arla Man. on the top side and it feels if, very, very revigorated. If BLG like drop off this summer and AL <laughs> it becomes like a top team, I feel like Tabe then makes an argument for like a biggest salary in the LPL for coaches or something. Uh, Croco in a bit of trouble in a 1v1 as we've got a fight in the bot side as well and Hope already loses his cleanse. Yep, level, uh, level one E start there for life too. Just looking for that potential play. I mean, he really, got really it, Really, right? solid double, start. And exactly, he got stunning. it. So, really, really well played. And he still has his own flash. So, we'll see how far he can go with that kind of advantage. Uh, Milky Way, of course, got that blue buff invade uh, and then went on to continue to invade Croco in his own jungle. Didn't blow his flash as a uh, hook oh, connects. Hope forced the flash. That is two summoners already burnt out of the enemy AD carry. Life has barely started the laning phase and he's already won it. Life's in his bag. I think we could see a bit of a performance come out if this stays consistent. Let's see where he can go with it. But FPX needed some kind of curveball in a way, I suppose, right? To try and turn this game around because Whilst they were going, you know, relatively toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone's legend for a fair portion of that last game, it was always kind of edging out towards AO. Once AO were able to regain that gold lead, Shanks... Oh, already, already impacting multiple lanes. Wow. Shanks might just go down here. One more auto from Care. Oh, flash from Flash Care. He's ended up under the oh. tower. Oh, no! It all looked so good for FBX, but Shanks just turns it around again. Oh, man. Care just doesn't quite have enough war attack damage. Shanks is able to turn it around, like you say. I wonder if, like, fleet footwork was in play there or something. Shanks was 1 HP. We'll get confirmation from the observers. Don't worry about that. Yeah. Oh, no, I mean, I need to see soon. how that happens. Because, like you say, Care got the flash auto, but it just didn't quite finish the job. He looked like he was so low on HP. Yeah, and they played a bit of a, a game of chicken as well. Yeah. Just around the flash timing, you know, Care, I think he was waiting for his auto-attack timer to come back up. Let's take another look. Because I, oh. I think the, the biggest thing as well is, like, Care then can't leave tower range because... Because yeah, once he's in. Die. Yeah, he just... He just... That second of hesitation there from Care, he definitely had another auto-attack ready. Yeah, oh my goodness. I can't believe he got away with that. I can't believe yeah. he managed to outplay that. Flash is the flash. And then because Care couldn't get a kill, Care couldn't get out of tower range either. Fantastic stuff from Shanks. Yeah, and well, that's one way to uh, start the Corky versus Tristana matchup, isn't it? <laughs> Life thought he was helping. Uh, he was not helping. <laughs> to be fair, well, Life did everything right. Yeah, yeah, look, yeah Life did. <laughs> but he Life just did he do everything right. sensed Care. He, mm. Care just like felt the bloodlust he, from the pike. He, he mind controlled him. He yeah. reached three seats over. <laughs> 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 or a two actually support him in either way good start for uh, 
for the strings exactly. Good start for uh, Shanks. Now Arla. Oh. Hook shot his way out of this. Okay, so we'll see why. Yeah, no no slow landing. Milky Well just help push this wave in. If the Swirl Seed slow lands, maybe there's an angle to at least burn a flash, but Alla hook shots out to safety and will walk away with his life. So, all things considered, not too crazy on that top side. The only significant leads being in that mid lane we know about. In the bot lane, though, 20 CS lead right now as life just finds yet more hooks. Kale flashing uh. onto Dogdom, but he doesn't have any HP to work with. Dogdom's gonna finish the kill, but he's, he's killed himself to make it happen. You just got hope back into this lane. Nah. Nah, it's all right. The wave's gonna slow push back into him. Hello, life. Uh, yeah, that's not one he wants. Life wins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly realizes that's uh, that's not a fight that he wants. He's got a dragon. I've only got a sword or whatever the hell Pike carries. I don't really know what that is. Just a spike uh, on a stick, I think. Yeah. Actually, that is a good question. Is it not just a dagger? I think it's like, like a. It's yeah. like, oh, it's like. I think it's like those, a um, spearhead. One of those fishing like a, spears. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yes. I don't know what the proper name is for it. Oh, I don't I'm sure uh, someone's that is a really thing, isn't it? You like knowing. throw the like rope knife thing. Yeah, in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely is. Definitely is. Uh, uh, any prof thing. Professional fisherman here. Uh, yeah. Available for <laughs> consultancy if you want any advice on fishing. Uh, Croco is fishing for Milky Way here. The bomb on the head. I think it's enough. There we go. Shanks grabs a bonus, and that will be the grubs as well for AL. Everything is just looking hunky dory for AL right now as Ala sees his team doing well and decides, you know what, I want a bit of that action. Sets up for the CC chain onto Shaolao Hu. Kale trying to follow it up as well. Ala is pretty low uh -oh. though. The Q3 from Shaolao Hu nearly flips it around as a kill for himself, and now the rest of FBX channel into the play. Kale gets flashed away from Q3, goes wide as Shanks is in a 2v1 and goes down. Kale looking to sweep up. Ala gets another one. Two for one in favor of FBX. One more auto does the trick and Kale grabs a double. Kale's not going to faff around before attacking one last time in this play and Shalohu just buys so much time with the Kasante. And it's an overcommitment from Kale. An overcommitment from Ala to just try and get that last little tick onto the Kasante. Honestly, they got the chunk. They probably should have just been happy with it, but let's get a look. Last minion sets up for a level 6. Ash Arrow comes up, so there's... I'm imagining some kind of skirmish also happened down in the river. Croco gets clipped. Uh. And that's what sets up for this rotation from FPX. So, really kind of fortunate that final minion was the the tick over from the side of uh, AL. But for FPX, it's everything they want. And the rundown is just super easy. Because there's no one to actually contest the rotation up. What a phenomenal arrow. What a phenomenal arrow to manage to find the, the kind of main character of the play, honestly. Croco, yeah. the one starting those grubs up. It, w it was three grubs in the end for AL, despite the play ending up going so FBX favored. But it's in trade for now, this Drake in the bottom side. Dogdom, really, really solid arrow. Life has been all over this game. And honestly, this is now feeling really, really close because Hope uh, was massively ahead. He's fallen behind at this point. His Doctor, you know, trading his life one. did give a bit of gold, but Shanks oh, caught man. by the arrow, and that's going to be another for care. Shanks outplayed earlier on, but you can't outplay that. What a fantastic arrow again. Back to back. I mean, this is the kind of Ash you want to see. It's just Ash arrow off cooldown. Just sling it out and just see what happens. Yeah, yeah too right. Shallow hoot. Okay, he's in the 2v1 this time around. The all-out comes through. Ala dodges oh. a bit of damage and will survive life. Now trying to escape with his life. Is the route available for Croco? I'm not sure. Oh, he hits again. those. You know he hits those. Life's going to go down to Croco, but Croco pulled under the tower before he goes. So Milky Way now with a chance at a double kill. Finds one. There's the second. And now Kale suddenly on the wrong side of the play. Trying to retreat to his tower and looks like Milky Way won't follow up for more. Just going to hold this wave. And hoping that his laner can grab that one. In the meantime, 1v1. No, Kale oh, trying to uh, find Milky Way that's upside. <laughs> Kale just solo killed Milky Way. All right, forget the forget the build up to the play. How did that happen? Did he just tank too much damage holding the minion wave? It had to have been that, right? Could have I mean, been anything have been. else. This game is but hectic. Kale, Kale is used to dealing with people taking minion waves. That's his whole job <laughs> in the laning phase. Milky Way, I think. 
underestimating what he could get done there. Or overestimating it, sorry. Hope just clears the wave with an ultimate. Doctum nearly has that arrow again. I'm keeping my eyes on, on this Ash. <laughs> These arrows yeah. have been scary. Keep your eyes peeled. Absolutely. Let's see what... Uh, I think for Shaolahu here... I'm not sure if the full channel of the W comes out. I forget how. Because Kassante's had about two reworks at this point. How long you can actually hold it for. But the dash is interrupted so the damage doesn't come out. Great hook from life onto Croco to set that kill up. A great swell seed then from Milky Way to ensure that this watch out Eep will connect. But he just holds the wave. A little bit of Zyra damage from the plant. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean <laughs> in hindsight, he maybe should have just cleared the wave. As uh, Kale just punishes very easily. Oh, in the meantime, life is caught, but oh, he is another punched, arrow. So he's not just... caught after all. <laughs> Dog, damn, that's uh. looking good on the Ash. Finds another pick onto Croco and sets up for FBX to take over this mid game. Okay, got a little bit excited about that arrow. I thought he did it from cross map again, and I was about to lose my mind. He was just off screen, but neither way, it doesn't really matter. It sets up for them to get. Uh, those three grub grubs in trade. Shanks is now down here, though, on the bottom side, trading a couple of plates back in his own right. So some gold trying to be clawed back here and there. But right now, FPX just winning out on hope. Really just hasn't been a part of this game. It's not his fault. The game's just been played elsewhere. And he's been bullied out quite a bit. Yeah, he certainly has. 97 on the scoreboard. And FBX have found themselves an advantage that they weren't able to find in the previous game. AL in charge for most of the previous game, it has to be said. But FBX, with this pike coming out from life, a bit of a pocket pick for him. It has set the pace for things, dominating the 2v2 in the bottom side. In fact, both games, Doctor and Life winning out the 2v2. But now managing to extend that to the rest of the map and Doctor extending that to the rest of the map while staying in the bot lane mostly using those ash arrows fantastic stuff to see love it duck dom so far if you just clip these first 12 minutes worth of arrows he's giving ruler a month run for his money ruler's had a fantastic ash as well of course it's got fantastic everything it feels like though <laughs> ruler he does, uh, he's got that skin on Zyre as well. He's not too shabby on it. As uh, Doctor tries to move in the mid lane and did not realize that Allo was laying in oh. wait. Oh, oh. the interruption on Shanks! And Doctor's still alive! The bomb finishes the job at Shallow, who now getting on to Kale as they look for more life hunting. The sleep. Oh no! The plants come out <laughs> from Croco! Kale still goes down. Croco denied the hook with the plants! Oh man. I mean, they still would have had him, I think, either way, just because, you know, the, uh, the sleep was there, but a little bit close, to say the least. And, man, what a play from life again. Just finds the double stand underneath the tower and just turns the play on its head. I mean, you said, and we kind of alluded to, life could have a bit of freedom on this pike. If the map starts to open up and plays start to get a little bit loose... And he's responded in kind almost everywhere on the map with a lot of intention. He certainly has. I mean, this has been... I can't believe how different these two games have been. The first game, so slow, so calculated, so methodical from both teams in the early game. Really waiting until the mid-game before things kicked off. This game, I mean, right from the word go, life was kicking off the action. Doctor getting involved, but... Everybody on both sides of the scoreboard has been a part of the mix. I'd say maybe Hope the only one not included as he's been, you know, bot lane catching waves while Doctum could still just blast those arrows off. Either way, though, we've entered the mid game now and items starting to get completed. Pretty much tier one for everyone. And on the side of FPX, you can see players getting a lot closer to those tier, uh, to uh, those second items as well. AL trying to move in to potentially contest, but the uh, Herald's already gone. Yep, Herald is gone, so... Those plays we had. And we'll see where FPX decide to drop that. Mid lane tower's below half, so... Expectation should be that I will go there. Care, how much danger is he in? He's gonna dodge this. Triangle forms, he will... Just flash Valk out, so that's his flash gone, and maybe AL can look for a repeat play in a couple of minutes' time. 
But again, all eyes on Milky Way for where he's going to put that Herald. Mid lane, top side, or oh, just get caught out here. Milky Way flashes away from the Stranglethorns. And life threatening with a hook. Alice TP didn't care, could be caught alone here, but hope in a 2v1 cleanse on the arrow but milky way finds the swirl seed doesn't follow up with the sleep is croco is caught ala finishes the job but croco all flashes away from the all from life and shanks finishes the job there al suddenly back in control yep but it's going to be an immediate response here from fpx charge into the mid lane here we'll take this tower in kindness obviously kills and a tower traded on the top side fpx trying to make the best of a bad situation and al just have the numbers ah. loaded up on that top side are they gonna get two bullet time i think is gonna make enough work of this wave here nice bit of damage we'll onto the doctor do the off the back of it as well yeah bullet time used to clear the wave buys time and space for al but still losing a tier one trading for a tier one in the top side but the fight for al crucially going the, their way after they'd invested so much on this top side play yeah it's a lot of uh abilities and life uh He's committed on to try and to kill Croco there. Doesn't feel like he can really interrupt the rest of the dive, but Croco, I think, ended up tanking tower because of the ultimate. The Hextech ultimatum from Arla shifted that tower aggro. Felt like he had the angle. Does get his flash out, but still, Shanks comes and cleans up that back end of the plate. Now, Shalahu, is he in danger? He is Cassante. He certainly is. And Dash is out to safety. There we go. Cassante things. Just walks away from a 1v3 in the meantime, Care. Trying to trade opposite. It's three people committed in the bottom side. But in the meantime, FPX have only got one person up top, one person or two people mid, and they get two towers in trade. So AL really over committing to the bot lane tower. Punished pretty heavily for it. FPX want to keep things going onto this top tier too. I'm not sure they'll be able to keep the siege up. They've got 280 carries there, but Alice should be able to clear this wave. Yeah, should be able to and will be able to. So again, more trades continuing to happen across the board. Just trying to take some of that standing gold off the map. AL still lacking the towers that FPX have found. That Herald was a great help in that. And it's FPX that still have their mid tier one. And I think, you know, when you've got Ash, when you've got Pike, you really want to try and play off that mid lane wave. You want to try and push it up. Or just very simply, you know, when the when the wave is dead and you've set enough vision. We've got Hawkshot information. Just send out the arrow either side of the map. It doesn't matter. Life will probably get there way faster than KO will. And just try and make the plays off that. We'll see how things unfold, though, because AL are likely going to be very aware of that and very uh, yeah. cognizant of how accurate Duck Dharma's been with those Ash arrows so far. I feel like AL are a team that are good at acknowledging win conditions, both for them and for their enemy, playing around those. I feel like that's the sort of structured play that has been successful for AL. It's just whether or not they can do it in the heat of the moment. They're 1-0 up in the series and they would love to start this split. With a 2-0, they found life and Alla just hard commits immediately. Pike's got a lot of movement speed, but not against a Camille. Alla makes it look easy as he sets up for a Drake. We'll just be able to pick this one up and you know, life for all of his slipperiness, can still be locked down by that Hextech Ormatum. He's not going to go very far inside of it. And he's very squishy. Pike. Of course, when you're doing this much roaming, he's level 7, 18 minutes into the game. He's barely got more than 1,000 HP. So, uh, very, very difficult to uh, survive that kind of play. And now AL on this dragon. Milky Way, he's on that mid lane wave. He's I mean, a he's away. Near. He's nowhere near. But he's moving over and he's pretty damn quick. They've got vision in the pit. Dragon hasn't been burst. It's just going to be a 5v5 because life's already back in the mix again. 5k yeah. on the Dragon as Croco just gets all in by Shalahu. Bullet time over, but the all out pulls Croco out of the pit. Croco gets taken down by Shalahu. And the Drake was taken in the meantime. FBX clean house. Hoping a 1v2 and he goes down in the end. Ala, last remaining player. FBX cleaner. Almost a complete sweep there. And FPX also get the dragon, so they're one more away from this Hextech Salt. Such a powerful one at that. Care. Ooh, Arla find them out. Hextech Ultimatum is back up and available. 
goes for the all-in in the 1v1. Milky Way is moving over, but Alex just cuts him clean in half. Mm. And now Milky Way. I'd have Arla for this. You, yeah, do you want this 1v1? <laughs> okay, Swirl Seed hits. Ultimate not available. Milky Way trying to space it. Dodges away from the tactical sweep. Life arrives on the scene as well. But the hook shot dives oh. into the play. <laughs> Ala has so much damage. Life just gets half HP. And Kale moves into the play as well. Ala now still wow. alive, escaping. But can the rest of the gang get out? Horse being chased down by the deer. Jumps over the wall, though, and the buster shot from Shanks buys a bit of time and space. Doctum arriving on the side of the scene. His arrow is on cooldown, though. Ala gets out the great escape from anyone's legend. What a play from Ala. Utilizing the minion waves as they come in. Ravenous Hydra proc as well. Just gives you so much life back when you're at that threshold. Doctum. Did he notice? Maybe a little Those, bit late. Uh... Yeah, I mean, cleanse may be worth a Zyra all. Probably not, to be honest. Yeah. So, I right, feel like I think you're happy if you're Croco. The only problem is now, if you're looking to rush this oh. Baron, you don't have that ult. But uh, they are still double AD carrying yeah. a Zyra and yeah, a Camille. Like, it's not a slow Baron. <laughs> not a slow okay. Baron at all. Bit of damage on Shalahu as well, as they try and threaten in the area. AL decided to peel away from the Baron. They didn't want to overcommit to that one. Remember, FBX managed to get that third Drake. They are on Soul Point. Three minutes until the fourth one comes onto the map. And AL, I think, starting to feel that pressure. Yeah, no, they are. Gold lead is starting to escape them a little bit, but it's a bit of a... I wouldn't say it's a fake one. It's just that the gold still sits in a pretty good pocket inside of Arla. And that can definitely be useful as a bullet time dodged out on by Shalahu with that drag back, but then you look over here, double sleep on the back line. Life finds his way. Oh, Shanks just immediately Life assassinates always him. finds a way. <laughs> Life always finds <laughs> a way. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I mean, this has been uh, a little bit messy. We've got more than a kill a minute here in game number two. Kind of the polar opposite of game one. Dogdom has that arrow up, so keep your eyes peeled for a potential play. Just whether or not the team is ready to follow up on that. AL doing a good job of staying grouped so those picks aren't just available. But FPX, I mean, all things considered, starting to really pull away with this game. And I think a lot of the credit can be given over to Dogdom and Life in that early game, but also Care has put after the early game, it went so badly. Care has managed to have such an impact in these skirmishes. Oh, he has. Care's uh, been able to put in a lot of work. But again, my eyes still lie on the opposite side, on this Camille. 6 2 2. Yeah. Almost third item. Wouldn't take long for that surgeon to cut down Corky. And he's already done it once on the side lane. But again, FPX, they're not super committed to those. And that's where I think AL can have their in. So they can actually get some space for Arla. And hell, even if you buy time for Shanks, right? Like, still going to scale up into that point too. Where he's going to be very, very relevant over there on those side lanes. Collecting them up, sweeping them up, and just continuing to get those items in. And the pace slows down. This Baron is up now. We're getting to the late portions of the game. 40 seconds until. Potentially Soul for FBX if they can get this Drake. AL, I'm sure, don't want to let that happen. But one big slip up now, and the game might just end. FPX, they've done well in the second one to try and equalize things. A 3,000 gold lead. But can they actually finish the job? Because I feel like AL have been in this situation before. I feel like I've seen a few games from AL where they didn't necessarily have a big lead going into the late game. But then some of these calls that come out from AL really leave you in awe how they're able to play this game. Grouping up for the drag. Here we go. It's just going to be a straight up 5v5, isn't it? Yeah, it should be. Keep your eyes on Arla. He's got Flash. He's got all his tools available. Everyone has Flash Bar Milky Way, so that's the oh. play you're looking for. Ash Arrow goes between the posts. First miss, I think we've seen of the game. Kale is going to go down. Drake oh taken as FBX grouped up for the bullet time. Cuts through them, forces the flash out from Shalahu. Milky Way trying to survive in the meantime as Allah jumps over to the rest of the team. Care barely alive as Hope almost gets the auto, but it's cancelled. A Q onto Milky Way would finish the job, but life has been found by Shanks. 
And just as FBX feel like they're in control of the game, AL snatch it away. And it's Ala in the back line. He assassinates Duck Dom. He doesn't even get to play the game. Without that Asher, just to provide that brief reprieve, right? That like half a second stun it gives you when it's point blank. Ala just deals with him in the midst and the bullet time buys him all the rest of the space he needs. FPX, I mean Milky Way. Yeah. That would be a miracle. He's not going to make it work. Baron goes over to AO1 just like that. On the drop of a hat, we go from FBX having a 2k gold lead. One away from that Hextech soul. They still are, but they're just going to have to wait another four or five minutes. To AL having Baron and likely control of this game. It's tense, <laughs> but AL managing to come out on top of the pile right now. And remember, this is the oh, hang on, Arrow. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. A hair away from Croco. Life goes wide on the hook as well. That means Croco keeps himself safe. And AL on the cusp now of uh, finding their first win in the group. They would love to be at the top of this group. There are some names in this group, that's for sure. Doctum, though, found by Alec. Great little combo. It's not what you can do against that as Ash. Yeah, it's so ridiculous. He also had his Q proc off the blast cone, so there was no waiting. That, you know, second and a half, two second window was able to just blow him up immediately. Great stuff, and then the chase down, obviously. Everyone else is spectacular. Still at yeah. time, like we mentioned, to bought the rest of the space he needed. Shanks consistently in these fights just looks fantastic. Obviously, he's managed to get Tristan to both games, which does help with looking good. Dogdom, the target once again. Hextech ultimate, and once again, and Dogdom wonders what on earth he's meant to do against this once again. Bullet time now onto Kale with a Magnus Storm on top, and Ala even gets out. Even if Kale dies, it's still positive for AL, but I'm not even sure if Kale will die on this one. Yes, he will. Life finishes the job pretty comfortably. But either way, AL finding yet more pressure two for one and now they can push in in this mid lane while shanks takes a tier two in the bottom uh -oh. side wait alice found life the health bars are deceptive because alice double the level of life it's 16 to 8 that's not a 1v1 life can win absolutely not Arla perhaps hunting for uh, life not gonna find him scruffy wants him to find him a scruffy he's, like, he's in there he's in, there. <laughs> he's, he's in the bush he's in the top rush get him Scruffy doesn't understand Fog of War. He doesn't realize that we can see things no. that Ala can't. You know? Exactly. He's not even got opposable okay. thumbs, bless him. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, hey, that's tier two off the back of that as well, top side. So it's just more gold. Five and a half thousand Baron power plate. All over to AL. And how things can change so quickly. Even if FPX managed to sneak away the soul. I, I'm just not sure if it's really enough. I think Arla's so accelerated right now. I mean, he's so fed, he's even detoured himself into a QSS. Just for the sake of having it. Because there is so much, you know, very valuable uh, yeah. bits of CC to cleanse. So, to say he's, he's chilling would be a bit of an understatement. He's got a QSS and he's on his way to a GA. And he's just going to find yet another valuable target. Get comboed <laughs> up and taken down. Ala has literally just taken this game by the horns and is just simply walking forwards at them. This very little Doctor and Care can do about it. And Ala, I mean, he's just rinse and repeating. Yep, he is. And I mean, he knows his job. He knows it well. Hex the call, mate. Anytime it's on off cooldown, rotate him with your team. Let someone else follow up and, you know, get the rest of the execution oh, no. damage. Croco. Not a, a good, good place out. to be. He's going to be put to sleep, though. I don't think he gets away with this one. Life looking to follow up. There's an arrow coming on in. And Croco found by Life. But the bullet time across the team turns things around. And Life ignited. Ala is here to save the day once more. A double kill for the top laner of AL. He came in at the start of this split and turned things around for AL. Him and Tape were the reinforcements. And now looking towards a 2-0 with an MVP performance from Ala. It's like Thor at the end of Endgame. Showing up. Oh, lot. I mean, he should have gone for the head. You say that they're he not going to finish the, the head. They're not going to finish now. the uh, game. That's, just, that's true. Should have gone for that's the true. Nexus. <laughs> let's, let's not jinx them. All right? We, <laughs> that said, it would be kind of funny now that we've said it. But I don't want to see it happen at this point. I think AL have done... 
really good job at putting themselves in a winning position. And yes, a lot of that work has been off the back of Arla's Camille in this game number two. And I fear Shanks is not going to be able to uh, match Ricky's MVP uh, vote to date. But I'm sure he will continue to yeah. chase and probably surpass him at some point very soon. I'm going to be honest, if I'm Shanks, the last thing I'm worried about right now is my MVP count. Nah, I know I nah, keep I mean, talking about honestly, that a lot, but <laughs> look, I'm taking the look, win. <laughs> if, I, if I'm Shanks, I'm thinking, man, can Arla donate me a couple of kills? I want to be be first. <laughs> I mean, let a brother eat. <laughs> look, I mean, he wants to tie rookie. That is fair enough. But you know, I say this to all of my teammates in solo queue. Sometimes you just got to okay. accept that you're going to be carried. You know, yeah, I don't actually. I'm, I'm not that guy. I swear, I'm not that guy. Um, also, I'm not capable of carrying a game. Um, <laughs> but aside from that, yeah, Ala, I think pretty much gifting this one to Al. And uh, if I'm the rest of AL, I'd be grateful. Ooh. Yeah, just about gets himself out to safety. I felt a little bit dicey for him because a pick there, that would have been barren. Yep, almost well, certainly good reaction times on the Valk. If he gets clipped by that slow, it's probably a flash and ult. Out from Arla, Shalahu. Okay, knock back onto Kale. Perhaps an opportunity as the Magnet Storm comes in and the bullet oh. time on top. <laughs> See you later, FBX health bars gone. Ala into the backside as well as Shaola, who finished off by Shanks. Dogged him. He'll get a blast go now, but I mean, where is he going to go realistically? He's going to just recall in the brush. They don't care. They just want the base. They want to finish this one off in style. Yep, and they will indeed. AL. I mean, pushed around, going toe to toe in the early game. FBX did a good job of making it competitive, but. Go past those 20 minutes. Arla picks up all of these kills. It's too much to handle as they're onto the Nexus Towers. They're onto the players. They want more kills. <laughs> Arla. Level 18 with a G8. Not many people can 1v1 that. That's going to be the Nexus Bear. And that should be the game. AL finish things strong. Arla dominating across the course of that one. The final fight with the bullet time. Ripping those health bars apart. Beautifully done by anyone's legend and showing us why they were at the top of Group D. Absolutely, they are. They've come in they've dominated FPX in this post 20 minute segments of these games. Excellent decision making all around and obviously a fantastic individual performance here from Arla in this game number two. That's something that, you know, they brought him in to, uh, to do. <laughs> Not the most creative sign, but I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, Arla, big capital letters. Yeah. Love to see it. I think anyone that does that for Arla or for Bin, I think those are the two players that that, that sign just works, you know? <laughs> <laughs> just big, aggressive letters. That's that's all you need. And, uh, I mean, Arla, what, what a performance. What a performance. And that might be one of his best performances of the split, to be honest, which is not even saying that he's not had good performance.